What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Carvana stock guys. So let's talk about it as for what type of plays that could be taken on this going into this coming week. And this could be intraday and swing play as well. Um, and then I'll also talk about what happened after the earnings and what Carvana has been doing since then. Is this stopping out here? Or can this continue to go higher? So we'll, we'll take a look at all of that. With that, please also note, none of this is any financial advice. This is only for education purposes. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. I'm only providing my opinion here, nothing more than that. All right, so guys with Carvana, now one thing I wanna just bring your attention to on the daily interval is that right now the place where it's resisting is at this previous pivot point over here. So this is a important resistance. We had a clear range in this area from $65 to you know, $94. In one of my videos I did talk about, we have a potential on Carvana to keep running up to almost uh, close to $100. And based off of our you know, resistance levels, so we have gotten quite a good move here. So this was the earnings you know, uh, gap up, even though earnings weren't great, but I did say that, guys, this is still just a buy after earnings. We always, we usually receive a follow through in that direction and we have been getting that. Now, this is the green zone. The previous time when we talked about a potential play, this was the demand zone. And after breakout of that, we have been getting long plays thereafter, right? So, Things have been looking great since then as well. So let me go to the hourly interval and you can see a couple of lines back from that time, right? And we have been getting those, uh, the, the long place there. Now, now what is doing lately, right? So let's, let's talk about that. So lately we have broken a trend line, uh, which is right over here, this one. Now you can take this as a either 50 hours moving average, also it has broken and all of that. And you can see it then had a had an overhead resistance as well and it sold off that particular day. Now what I expect from Carvana, and this is mostly intraday play, that any rebound that comes on it can be shorted as long as it's not getting above $90. This is only an intraday play, like for Monday. So if it tries to rebound, it's a short play. And if it continues to fall from here, it's it has a room to come down to 200 hours moving average and tests over here. So that is at $83 almost, so $84, right? And where is our um, 20 days moving average? It will be somewhere 83 or something very close, you know, the, when the market would open. So it will be around somewhere 84 itself. So that's where it has a room to do another leg down actually. Intraday short play can be traded on Carvana in my opinion for the um, yeah for this rebound and short play. And even if it doesn't rebound stays here, it's still a short play intraday. Now swing short will again, now this is a difference between here in the swing short and intraday short. I just showed you this is where the 20 days moving average would be, right? So if we lose both 200 hours and 20 days moving average, and now we're gonna lose them both at the same time, almost, right? If we lose both of them, then yes, we can start to look some more downside, maybe to the level of $76.17. Otherwise, if we see a confirmation of support at those levels with 20 and 200, sorry, 20 days moving average and 200 hours moving average, and we find support at 84, then you have to see a break of structure and break of pattern. Let me just real quick something on my indicator here. And also guys, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video. All right, let's go high here. It's a little bit in high volatile stock. I would more focus on the structural change if Carvana, well, as if it again continues to fall here, and if it then gets above $85, and it depends where it forms the pivot, right? Just watch this 20 hours moving average on the way down. Whenever this thing gets above 20 hours moving average, that may give it some another bounce up. Then we'll have to see if it forms a double top here, right? Or it makes, it starts to make a higher high. Now this is for the swing side that I'm talking, okay? This is for the swing side. 
and so you are watching the support for swing if it holds around 84 dollars range but until then intraday it's still a short play possibly as long as it doesn't break above that 900 sorry 90 dollars range this this candle and then if we find rebound here because of 20 and 200 hours moving average then we can see a rebound come in and then we will see if it's going to continue higher so but yeah right now it just looks like more possibility of you know intraday cool off and swing then we'll see how this develops uh, accordingly let's go to the five minutes interval actually as well and I'm gonna get rid of these red lines down from here we don't need those we have done those plays already there from the previous times just gonna real quick remove them all right so and also real quick I wanna adjust medium here we go all right so yeah now this makes more clear here so on five minutes, you know, um, any rebound, as I said, it's still a rejection. It's still a short play, in my opinion, even until the level of $80, $90, pretty much the area. But I said, and as I said, right now, if, and that's where it will, you know, right now looks like it's going to head lower to that 20 and 200 moving average area. And if you find bounce there, and then you see this getting above $86, then because it's going to form a lower pivot, right, if this breaks, and it will bring it to $84 and then even if it gets above let's say $85 as well then that's a break of structure then going into Tuesday and Wednesday this might become an upside play so you get my point right Monday is one-sided Monday looks like a short play as long as that rebound level holds and that could be shorted if level breaks definitely we need to have a stop loss and then this will become a long play that day itself but then if we break lower and then we regain this $85 again, then Tuesday going into Tuesday and Wednesday, this might go a little bit up here. So that's that with Carvana. Okay, guys, that's all. Easy peasy, very simple. It's right now just at that one of the supply zone resistance level. Um, so we will see how what it does there. And yeah, the current demand zone, if it holds $84, otherwise this will turn into supply zone and we might see more downside. But more so swing downside will more come into play from tuesday wednesday if the confirmation holds and then uh the long um the long swing play is just not there in my opinion right now not even swing not even intraday long in my opinion right now that may take a while okay that's all for this video guys um if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in my next video take care bye